Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, like this video and press the notification button for future video content that I will be posting in the next few weeks. Um, today's video is going to be about embroidery uh, and in specific uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the my first embroidery machine. Um, I purchased this uh, the Brother SE 600 uh, last year in uh, April last year right in the middle not right after the pandemic um, I got this from Walmart and it was about $375 or so three three features something like that um, I checked a few weeks back uh, today is uh, March 26 2021 uh, but I noticed that the price on this machine went up uh, substantially uh, a few weeks back I'm talking about three or four weeks uh, in February this machine was uh, in some places eight and nine hundred dollars I'm checking on Amazon right now and the price is about 459 which is still a little overpriced considering the price that I pay for it um, I'm sure it had to do with the uh, uh, demand supply maybe some of the uh, logistic issues if the machine is coming overseas and so on uh, but if you are looking, uh, doing research, trying to find an affordable, easy to use, user friendly machine, uh, I believe this is the one that you should get based on my experience. I had no issues uh, with the machine, so I wanted just to give you a quick overview of what this machine can do uh, compared to other commercial embroidery machines like the one that you see on your right. Uh, this is the machine, uh, this is the uh, Entrepreneur. Uh, Pro X, the PR 1050X, 10 needles, commercial embroidery machine. Um, this is actually a brand new machine. I purchased this about a month ago, and I have been doing several designs. But this is something you want to get if if you're taking, if you're thinking about taking this seriously and and doing business in the embroidery field uh, area, then you will need something like this. Whether it is a broader machine or any other brands in the market uh, but like always do your research and see what uh, machine will fit your will feed your needs the most especially in, in, in the area that you're trying to to enter you know if you're doing custom hats or if you're doing uh, t-shirts uh, company logos uh, patches or just basic you know uh, appliques and embroidery designs for baby clothes or so on then you will need to consider those uh, those things in order to make a decision what machine to get uh, but today let's concentrate on the brother is SE 600 uh, this is actually not only a embroidery machine but it's a sewing machine so what you see here is the setup for the embroidery machine uh, the hoop is already connected so this is I'm gonna read this uh, some of the specifications from the website um, it's a sewing and embroidery machine uh, it has 80 the uh, stitches designs built in um, and this um, a touch screen unit uh, you have also this is a uses a 4x4 hoop so it's not the, the work space for, for this machine is not too big uh, I believe you can find an extension or a bigger hoop uh, up to 5 by 7 but then depending on the software you're using you're gonna have to split that design to two uh, it gets a little more complicated I suggest you know for beginning if you're doing this as a hobby as I mentioned before or starting in the embroidering um, uh, business I will suggest something about this size um, some other uh, people get the P, uh, I think it's the PR800, PR, sorry, uh, let me double check that, yeah, PE800, uh, which already had the 5x7 hoop, uh, this one comes only with the 4x4, uh, but going back to the topic of the uh, features on this machine, um, it has a 3.2 LCD touchscreen, that's very nice, uh, you have the possibility of in a USB it has a USB on the right side of the machine you put your design um, either whether you purchase the design on a, on, a, on a website or if you 
design your own using some of the softwares available for digitizing uh, your own designs you can do that as well it doesn't have capability to connect through Wi-Fi um, but I believe it has also let me double check uh, it doesn't have a memory SD card but it has a USB which I think is just enough for this for this little machine uh, uh, right now on Amazon is $4.59 uh, if you have Prime you don't pay for shipping and then um, I'm not sure any other store what the prices are uh, but it's, it's an affordable machine and it's uh, very very easy to use so the, the hat that I'm um, wearing right now the uh, design is the logo of my company I actually uh, embroidered that with this machine I digitized this as well using a software called, called Embrilliance. Um, you're gonna see several software up there, but I decided to get Embrilliance because it's one of the few software that can be used on a Mac computer. And that's what I use for most of my designs, not only with embroidery, but also uh, if, you, you know, if you're using Photoshop, Affinity Designer, I like to use those softwares uh, on the Mac. It's just uh, preferences that I have. Um, the other thing that I wanted to uh, discuss today is that this is going to be just um, you know an overview of the machine that I have uh, and you know the, the key advantages of having a small machine like this. I consider this uh, a portable machine even though it doesn't have you know like a, a rechargeable battery but it's, it's a you know easy machine that you can you know if you have an invert inverter or something and you want to take it to to a show uh, just to show some of your designs and then this is a machine uh, for that because it doesn't take a lot of space and it can be easily transport and you know run with a, with a power inverter um, and show your designs so uh, and again uh, you know if you're starting in the in the, in the broadband business you don't want to go with a super expensive machine for well the obvious reason that a machine like this one right here will cost you many thousands of dollars uh, right and then uh, you know and then and then the second reason is you want to make sure that you first understand how everything works and then uh, part of the understanding is it started you know especially with little knowledge start building your way up um, I will suggest start first with the uh, softwares. Uh, actually, software and machine at the same time. But the reason why I mentioned the software is because at least when I decided to go into the embroidering business, um, I wanted to be able to uh, digitize my own designs or any other designs uh, from customers' requests. So the it, it give you. Uh, competitive advantage over other people that just purchase a design uh, for instance people uh, you know that do prints on demand or or they just buy you know a digital file put it into the machine and they you know they they do a patch and then they resell it so that's that's one way uh, but if you want to take these more um, at a professional level you should be looking into a software you know to do the uh, the actual design that can be transferred to the machine and you know gain a, a final um, product and that's that's one of the things that I will be uh, showing in the next few videos I'm gonna actually make this a series of many videos I'm trying to post at least two videos a week one video is gonna be the uh, actual design of, of the uh, product that I'm trying to make for that particular week um, using Embrilliant, the Embrilliant software. Uh, so that's going to be, you know, where I show the techniques on how do you uh, take an, you know, an, an SVG file, for instance, or a PNG image, put it into the software, trace it, convert it into a vector image, and then add the stitches. Because it's not, when you do an embroidering, it's not screen printing, for instance. Uh, screen printing, you can have a software completely like uh, Adobe um, like for instance Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator that you can have uh, an SVG file 
that have been previously digitized automatically by the software and you have so many vector lines and all that so with embroidering it doesn't work the same way you you could use an SVG file into you know the for instance the Meridian software but that won't get you too far away because the uh, the embroidery process is a little different and then every single line that you're putting you have to think about stitches as well and then uh, about fill areas and so many variables that, that when you're doing a regular artwork for screen printing doesn't happen that way you just put everything together and then you just print it in a, in a you know in the transparency and then put it in your burning uh, unit and that's it but this is a little different uh, many times you're gonna see designs on the screen uh, actually 100% of the times what you see on the screen when you finish the digitizing process is not what you're gonna get when you actually do the, the sewing into the fabric so the best way to you know make sure that everything is smooth that is running efficiently on your machine is excuse me is doing a, a stitch test and evaluating all possible gaps and everything compensation and some other trends that we can discuss in the future uh, but it's something to keep in mind you know if you are thinking about going into embroidery um, once again the SE brother machine SE 600 um, I consider this a portable unit uh, I kind of wanted to show you briefly the uh, the software let me see if I can zoom in um, on the machine I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but basically this is the, uh, the main screen. So once you have a design, let me actually bring a design over so you can see how that looks like. So I'm going to use uh, my regular USB drive and I'm going to put it on the right side of the machine just wait a few seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and press the uh, uh, the USB icon you'll see different um, folders uh, I will show you for instance let me just go back one time Sorry guys, I think something, I pressed the wrong button, but if you go back to the main screen, then you can see here, you use the, the arrow uh, to the right or to the left to move to the previous design. So these are some of the designs that I have uh, embroidered on the uh, PE, uh, PR1050, uh, that's the, the bigger, the commercial embroidery machine. Right now this is graded out because of the size of the hoop. This machine can only do four by four so you won't be able to see that uh, but basically here's where you will base, uh, select the design and proceed to the next uh, 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 features on the unit so you have some patterns already if you want to you see how the machine works you can select any of these patterns and it will show you the colors it will show you you know um, because this is a single needle embroidery machine you have to do the change of color so every time, uh, like this particular design, that have four or five different colors. The machine will start with the first color, and then it will stop. It tell you to change thread, and then you go ahead and do that, and then continue. As if, you know, if you have a commercial embroidery machine like the ten needles that I showed you at the beginning of the video, the machine will automatically switch from one color to the other one. But let's say if you want to embroider this, you will press on the design. You press set. It will show you here the uh, the work space. Um, you can move this, you can resize it if you have to, you can rotate uh, 90 degrees clockwise, counterclockwise and so on, you can reset if you need to, uh, you can mirror the image, uh, you can also, if you press, if you press the move, uh, here you can move it to the right, to the left, up or down and so on. So this is basic uh, functionality of the machine and then once you're done, um, you know, with all your your editing you press the button that says edit 
in and then at that point the machine is ready so you will have to have you know if you press for instance the button that says embroider it will show you now the colors and everything so in this particular design you have you know four or five different colors and then you start from the top to the bottom just with the dreadnoughts to do the design that you that you want to do uh, but I can go into more specific details on how to use in each one of these features um, in, in other videos I just wanted to show you just some of the basic functionality uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you on the machine is the top uh, right corner has the uh, feature where you can uh, rethread your your bobbin uh, so you will put it on here and it has some marks on the top with numbers that tell you how to do that um, you also have the, the coder uh, the trim um, this particular machine has a uh, automatic needle thread that is on the uh, left side of the machine uh, so you don't have to you know uh, you don't have to manually you know thread the needle here you just do a pass it has instructions and numbers here and then press this to cut the, the uh, to thread the uh, the machine so you basically go like this down and it will do it automatically for you um, other than that I think that's that's the basic uh, functionality of the of the machine I'm gonna go ahead and, and just uh, set the camera back to the original position and then um, once again just to um, um, summarize everything this is the uh, Broder SE600 embroider machine uh, perfect little machine for uh, hobby um, you know if you're if you're thinking about starting your uh, small business in embroidery and you want the machine to you know do some some tests and, and see if this is something that you're really going to enjoy this is the machine you probably want to get I will continue using even though I have the the PR 1050X for uh, commercial embroidery I will continue using this machine because I believe that this is the perfect machine to test your designs you know you don't have to do a lot of uh, setup settings on, on the machine you can just work on the computer do everything you need to do on the digital part then bring your USB connected under your your sewing your embroidery test and then do the correction as you need this is actually the same machine that I will continue using for the next uh, few or for the next videos that I will be posting so you guys can learn the process from start to finish um, and in particular the digitizing because I think the possibilities with digitizing are endless you don't even have to buy a commercial embroidery machine if you're thinking only on doing digitizing uh, if you're thinking only digitizing designs you could for instance just get very good at the artwork and converting a, a specific artwork into you know a, a work a stitching file you can test it in a machine like this and then you can sell that design uh, you know on different platforms I have seen many many small businesses that do that and they get very good at it uh, I mean that is, is that's one way to go I also seen some other people that just concentrate in patches um, use they digitize the patch they do it this is a perfect machine for patches because it's a small hoop and then other people decide to go more into the clothing and do you know logos for company or baby clothes you know and they, they decide to do appliques uh, or the embroidery designs and so on uh, some other people do hats very popular as well so for hats I will not recommend this machine for hats even though you know it's possible to do it in fact this is this is you know, um, this hat that I'm wearing I, I, I did the embroidery with this machine uh, but it's very difficult and you know it's very easily to uh, you know when things are not working the way you want to get frustrated and some people might even quit <laughs> so this is not the, the so I always think that I always uh, have in mind that if you don't have the right tools 
for the right work, you know, things are not going to work the way you want it, and then you probably will end up just quitting that that part of the of the goal that you're trying to achieve. Uh, but for any other simple um, work, you know, like I mentioned, patches and and uh, you know, small designs, you can do it here. If you're looking for hats and you know, shoes, uh, also all the different type of fabrics and material, you need a commercial brother machine, um, such as the uh, the brother PR ten fifty or ten fifty five X or so on. Um, but the uh, brother SE six hundred, uh, very good. I will say, uh, startup machine, and the brothering and sewing as well. Because I didn't mention, I haven't talked about a lot about this. But you ha you also have another carrier uh, that you can detach this one and then put the other one, a little smaller one, and you can convert this into a sewing machine. And that's another reason why I got this. I you know when I first I started doing the screen printing first uh, if you look at some of, watch some of my videos uh, already on the channel it's mainly screen printing screen printing transfer equipment use techniques and so on excuse me I mentioned you know the the other equipment like the embroidery and the sublimation and so on uh, but I think that you know embroidering is one of those uh, techniques in the customization of items that it has a lot of the opportunities and endless and if you learn if you are willing to learn uh, you you know you can do anything anything basically uh, with the with this technique um, so thank you uh, again if you're still watching the video thank you very much for for um, for still being here uh, please make sure to like the video that will help me uh, that helped me a lot support the channel uh, it helped me also to you know uh, bring more content to you guys if you have any comments any suggestion please make sure to put that in the uh, description on the uh, comment section below uh, press the uh, subscription button if you haven't subscribed yet and I promise you we, you will learn you will learn something new every time um, once I'm done with the series of uh, embroidery videos where I'm gonna show the digitizing bar and the uh, and the um, the actual um, embroidering design. I will move into sublimation. I will show you the equipment that I have for sublimation, heat transfer vinyl, and so on. Um, but this is, is, is a learning. This is a learning curve for embroidery. Uh, but it's it's, actually, it's it's worth it. You know, you will like it as as you start getting into into this uh, technique. Uh, you will start liking it more and more. The key is the perseverance that you you know keep going. Um, not not always you're gonna have the results that you're expecting, but it's, it's like I say, it's a learning process. Um, and I have been doing it now for six months. I've been taking uh, online courses, uh, training classes, teaching myself, just watching some other YouTube videos. Uh, but the key here is the practice. You know, you do your design, your computer, you bring it over to the machine, you stitch it out. You see what you know what went wrong. You make some adjustment. You redo it again, and in the process you will learn, and the process you will get better. Uh, it gets to the point where you have, you know, the skills that you probably never thought you will have doing something like this. Um, this is for me. This is something completely uh, different to what I to what I do for a living. Uh, you know, I I you know have two uh, degrees. Uh, actually three degrees to a graduate and, and an undergraduate uh, in something that had nothing to do with this but I you know I started this just out of curiosity uh, I remember that I took uh, my uh, it was either my freshman or sophomore year in college um, I had to take a basic class an art class and that's how I learned not only about embroidery but embroidery but uh, screen printing which was what initially brought me to to do all this stuff and get all these equipments that I have about screen printing uh, and then I you know I'm, I'm thinking in the future you know something like this it could be it could turn into a into a full-time job uh, because as I mentioned if you for instance you know you like embroidery you can just go ahead and, and get very good at digitizing just digitize in the digitizing part for those of you that don't yeah, still don't connect what the digitizing means it's just what it 
you know what it sounds like it's, it's just basically taking an artwork from a you know a, a raster image a, you know a pixel a pixel image or jpeg and then convert it into a file uh, embroidered file a stitching file that can be recognized by the uh, embroidered machine that you have so that it can be stitched out uh, for the for the broader for, for the broader machine uh, the uh, the stitching file is a PES file. Each embroider have their own file that the machine will recognize. Uh, but the digitizing process is is the key in getting that design, you know, from the computer in a particular file that can be understood by this machine. So once again, I will be posting um, very soon. Uh, I'm thinking about posting two videos per week um, this being the first one I promise you the next few videos are gonna be you know 10 15 minutes video specifically on a technique that we'll be learning that day uh, but I promise you it's gonna be one for digitizing I uh, show you the brilliance if you're interested in that software I will talk about that software as well and then the second session is gonna be bringing that file from the computer putting it to the machine, uh, doing the, 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 the sewing test, taking a look and see how everything went, making the corrections that needs to be done, and then move on to the next week with a different you know, design. And, it, and the idea is that each different, each week will have different designs that will touch particular techniques you will learn that day. Um, and then you can you know, keep putting those in your portfolio of techniques uh, until it gets to the point where you actually um, become an, an, an you know an expert in the, in this in the digitizing uh, field uh, once again thank you very much for watching the video um, i hope you enjoy this i hope it's informative and then uh, if you are interested in getting this machine go ahead and, and get it as i highly suggest it and then uh, let me know what you think about you know the the machine what projects have you done if you have any other question if you have any particular interest in in a video you would like me to record for you guys uh, please put those descriptions below and i'll be more than happy to uh, to assist you with that thank you very much